He said goodbye to them. He laid down and he crashed, and they let one out the front. They haven't told me anything. He didn't release any information. It took me three calls to get anybody to call me back today. Jordan does know, and I'm asking Jordan tonight to please come forward and tell the truth because he does know what happened that night. Hello, True Crime Stories family. Welcome back. The families of the victims express their frustration as they get the runaround from investigators while Jordan Willis is hiding and they have no idea where he is. Do you think Jordan is living with his father? David Harrington's family have a valid argument. If drugs are involved, they believe Jordan was the only one that could afford to buy them. The police and detectives have been ignoring the victims' families. And it took me three calls to get anybody to call me back today. Um, and that was the first time I'd spoken with anybody since about a week and a half now. It's interesting that detectives waited to return David Harrington's mother calls on the morning of her national interview. Do you think the detectives was trying to save their reputation or prevent vital information from being leaked until their investigation is done? Michelle, good morning. I spoke with the brother of one of the men, Ricky Johnson. He says all the family wants is answers. How could three friends end up dead, their bodies outside frozen, after going to a football watch party? Now, one thing the family is sure of, they don't buy the story of the man who hosted the party. And that is how it's going to end here in Los Angeles. It was January 7th. The Kansas City Chiefs eked out a close win against the Chargers in balmy Los Angeles. But back in Kansas City, it was in the low 30s, with blizzard conditions in the forecast. Three longtime friends, Ricky Johnson, Clayton McGinney, and David Harrington, watched the game at a friend's house. But after the party, all three friends went missing. Two days later, police say a fiancé of one of the men came to the house looking for answers and found a body in the backyard. Officers discovered two more. The cause of death is still unknown, but investigators say there were no obvious signs of foul play. We deserve answers. Jonathan Price is the brother of Ricky Johnson. What do you think happened that night? The only thing I know for a fact is... Um, I don't accept that my brother just froze to death. There has to be something else involved, um, whether it's drugs or something else, I have no idea. Family members have questions for Jordan Willis, the man who hosted the party. Police say he has cooperated with the investigation. Jordan had absolutely nothing to do with the deaths of his three friends. Through his attorney, Willis claims he had no idea the three bodies were in his backyard for two days. He says he thought his friends left his house that night. In the early morning hours, Jordan, around 2 a.m., he believes, uh, he got sleepy. He said, I'm going to crash on the couch. Uh, and he said goodbye to his buddies, and he thought that they left out the front door. The attorney says Willis didn't respond to family members' attempts to reach him because he was asleep. I know that his story does not add up, and I know that he's not telling the truth in some way or fashion. Price says his brother Ricky was a loving father to three young girls. He has always been a role model to me, you know, someone I admired. For the families, the hardest part is having no explanation why their loved ones are gone. How are you supposed to heal from something that you don't even know what happened? And those answers may have to wait until the results of the autopsies are finished. Now, prayers to the victims' families. I hope the families hire a lawyer and private investigator soon to uncover the truth. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I want people to know that whatever comes out, whatever happened, these three men, they had families, they were hardworking, they were community people, they, they loved their lives, they had great lives. They, my son, he was an avid skier, he was a, a coach for baseball team, I mean he had a full life 
He wasn't a person that sat around and wasted his life. This, this should have never happened, not to my son, not to Clayton, not to Ricky. They all deserve for this investigation to dig deep and to find out because I believe Jordan does know and I'm asking Jordan tonight to please come forward and tell the truth because he does know what happened that night.